Hey there my peeps, it is now time for the raw results slash highlights and review video. I'll go over the results of the old school raw show and give you guys my thoughts on the whole thing. So it all kicks off with actually the Undertaker making his return. His music hits, he comes out, but he only comes out to the stage area, raises his hands up or his arms up. And uh, the flames go up, and actually the WrestleMania 29 logo is pops up on the Titantron, and that's pretty much it. They then show the intro for the old school Raw show, and then uh, CM Punk comes out, and he talks about how he lost the championship, and that he lost the championship because of the fans, they screwed him over, and he says, you know, without being in the main event at WrestleMania, defending the championship, uh, there's no purpose for him to be at WrestleMania, but that's, and he's talking about The Undertaker now, uh, that right there gave him a purpose, and that, you know, people were rolling their eyes over at CM Punk's numbers, you know, when he'd uh, talk about how long he's held the championship, well, he's gonna give you another number, and that number is 20 and 1, and by that he means, you know, he's gonna beat The Undertaker, Anyways, uh, I think Randy interrupts saying that, you know, don't forget I beat you at WrestleMania. And pretty much Randy also wants a shot at Taker. And then Big Show comes out. He also wants a shot at The Undertaker saying he also faced The Undertaker before. And then Sheamus came out and he said he's the only one that hasn't faced The Undertaker so he hasn't got beat by The Undertaker. And then Vicky comes out and she announces that she's going to put them all in a fiddle for one match. So it's going to be Sheamus versus CM Punk versus Big Show versus Randy. And whoever wins that matchup gets to face The Undertaker at WrestleMania. After that, they had Antonio Cesar versus Ryback. And uh, towards the end, Antonio Cesar was going for the neutralizer, actually. Well, actually, Ryback was going for the clothesline. And Antonio countered that with an uppercut. And then was going for the neutralizer, but Ryback countered the neutralizer into the shell shock, hit, hit it, and uh, got the 1, 2, 3, so Ryback beats Antonio Cesaro. And then once Ryback gets out of the ring, Mark Henry's music hits, and uh, he comes out, and they have a stare down for a while. Then Mark Henry goes in the ring, Zack Ryder comes out. Very quick matchup, Mark Henry beats Zack Ryder with the World's Strongest Slam. Then they showed another Fandango video saying he's going to debut on Raw. And then they had The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler, and The Miz introduced Ric Flair uh, to be in his corner for the match against Dolph. At some point, The Miz was going to hit the Skull Crushing Finale, was preparing for it, but AJ's distracting the referee, so Big E like, gets on the apron right behind The Miz, turns him around, punches him, then gets off the apron, and then Ric Flair throws his uh, throws his suit onto Biggie's face, gives him a couple chops, a couple punches, but it doesn't face Biggie. So the Miz hits a baseball slide on Biggie, taking him down. And then Dolph rolls up the Miz, but the Miz kicks out, then puts Dolph into the figure four. Dolph taps, so Miz wins the matchup. And then after that, The Rock comes out, followed by John Cena, and they argue, both you know, stating their points. And, you know, it's it's it was a long promo, so to sum it up, The Rock in the end gets the last words saying that he's going to beat John Cena at WrestleMania 29 once again. We then see Jack Swagger in the ring, and he's waiting for Hacksaw Jim Duggan. He's supposed to be facing him, so he comes out. Hacksaw Jim Duggan comes out with Dusty Rhodes and Sergeant Slaughter in his corner. The match doesn't even happen because Jack Swagger grabs Hacksaw's 2x4 and hits... Jim Duggan hits uh, Dusty Rhodes and hits Sergeant Slaughter. He hits all three of them and takes them out with the 2x4 and then locks on the Patriot lock on Jim Duggan. And uh, that is pretty much it. And then he sees up Coulter backstage with Jack Swagger. They're getting interviewed. Anyways, Del Rio ends up attacking Jack Swagger. And afterwards, a tag team match. It's Kane and Daniel Bryan versus the Prime Slam players. Actually, the Million Dollar Man is at ringside because apparently on the WWE app, uh, Ted DiBiase said that if the Prime Slam players can beat Team Hell No, that then he's gonna think about you know being their manager. Anyways, uh, Darren Young jumped from the top rope. Kane caught him with a choke slam and won the matchup for his team. So after the match, Ted DiBiase grabbed one of his uh, bills and put it in Darren Young's mouth. And then he leaves, and uh, Kane and Daniel Bryan are leaving, but then Daniel Bryan looks back, and he goes and grabs that bill from 
uh, Darren Young's mouth and puts it in his trunks and uh, that is pretty much it. Brodus Clay and Tensai then come out, actually it's Brodus Clay and Sweet T now. They come out for a tag team match up against uh, 3MB, Honky Tonk Man comes out. So he's in the corner of Brodus Clay and Sweet T. And he was about to talk on a microphone, but Heath Slater grabs the microphone off of him, says nobody wants to hear you talk or sing. Anyways, uh, the match goes down. The match lasted like, I don't know, 15 seconds, 20 seconds. Sweet T rolled up, um, I think he, I think it was, no, actually, he, he rolled up Drew McIntyre, got the victory for his team, they danced, and then Hockey Talk Man uh, got in the ring, they danced with him, and then Heath Slater comes back in the ring, and uh, Honky Tonk Man actually breaks the guitar over his head and they go back to uh, dancing. Afterwards, Kofi Kingston was in the ring for the debut of Fan Dango. And, um, well, his music hits, he comes out, but uh, once again, he doesn't debut. Uh, Justin Roberts announces him, and uh, same thing, you know, as SmackDown, Fan Dango says. You know, you say you can, you're, you're, you aren't saying my name right. You have to feel it. It's it's fun, done, go, and uh, just some Roberts attempting like two more times or something like that. And uh, in the end, Fantango says he's not gonna debut because he can't say his name right. He keeps butchering his name, and people will remember this night as the night you almost saw Fantango debut. And then Triple H comes out to address the Brock Lesnar situation, and to sum it up. He calls out Brock Lesnar for a fight at WrestleMania, and he tells Brock Lesnar, are you going to show up and fight, or are you going to sit there and bleed? They then show a S.H.I.E.L.D. promo where they uh, talk about Big Show, Sheamus, and Randy, and they also talk about Taker's streak, about how everybody you know wants to face The Undertaker to end The Undertaker's undefeated streak, but they point out that... You know, Taker's not the only one with an impressive undefeated streak. But pretty much, the promo was directed at Sheamus, Randy, and Big Show. And then they had Del Rio versus Wade Barrett. And during the matchup, Jack Swagger and Zeb Coulter came out uh, on the stage to look at the matchup. Del Rio ends up winning the match uh, with the cross arm breaker. And then the New Age Outlaws come out, do their thing on the microphone. And they have a match, a tag team match, with Primo and Epico. I was expecting maybe Road Scholars uh, initially before the actual show, but it ended up being Primo and Epico. Uh, they win the match after Billy Gunn hits the Fame Acer on, I think, uh, I don't know, either Primo or Epico. Well, one of them. <laughs> and uh, goes for the cover and wins the matchup for his team. And then we see a birthday cake. Uh, on the stage, and you've got like the whole roster, not not, a, not the whole roster, but a good amount of uh, superstars there, and uh, they introduce me, Gene Orkerlin, and on the cake it says, happy birth, happy uh, 90th birthday to uh, Mae Young, so they introduce Mae Young, she comes out with a bunch of divas, but uh, before they do anything really, CM Punk's music hits, he comes out and interrupts, and heads to the ring in preparation for his Fatal Froy match. Big Show, Randy, and Sheamus uh, all come out afterwards. It was an okay Fatal Froy match. Uh, Big Show really dominated the matchup. He hit a choke slam on Sheamus, hit a choke slam on Randy, he even hit the WMD on CM Punk. But CM Punk rolled out the ring and Sheamus started fighting with the Big Show. In the end, Big Show was, was about to hit the knockout punch on Sheamus, but Sheamus got up, hit the bro kick on Big Show. He then turns around, Randy hits the RKO on Sheamus, and then CM Punk was knocked out on the outside of the ring, gets back in, kicks Randy in, in the head, hits the GTS, covers Randy, gets the victory. So uh, CM Punk moves on to go on to face against uh, face off against uh, The Undertaker at WrestleMania. And then The Undertaker's music hits, he comes out once again, but this time, he well, he stays on the stage and stares down CM Punk to end the show. So that's pretty much it as far as highlights uh, for me, I guess, uh, the Fatal 4-Way, uh, simply for because of CM Punk uh, winning the matchup. And uh, uh, what else? Oh yeah, I did enjoy the New Age Outlaws in Ring Return. If I have to give the show a rating though, I'd give it a 6, maybe 6.5 out of 10. So uh, that is pretty much it. I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to go to sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, as always, you can click the like button. I'd really appreciate it. With that said, mama guys, see ya.